Well, I am excited today to talk about theater chairs. And the reason why is because I've mentioned this multiple times in previous videos. I'm not super thrilled with my setup here in my theater as far as seating goes. Um, we have the three chairs on the back and then the uh, sectional around around the side of the room and it's 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 okay it's all right but it's not ideal in my mind in my mind i would prefer to have a row of three back here and a row of three right here and no sectional so basically three chairs three chairs that to me would be ideal but today we're going to be doing a little bit of experimentation because the good folks at Valencia Theater Seating have sent me two of their new Valencia Tuscany Executive Heat and Massage Chairs to try out and to share my thoughts on them. And so I'm going to uh, see how they do in my theater and if they might be a good fit for what I ultimately envision my space to be. So to start off with, how do they feel? Are they comfortable? And I will say, these chairs are extremely comfortable. Now, this chair obviously is a mismatch. This is one of the old original chairs that we have. And I will tell you, <laughs> these chairs, very, very comfortable. I've always been very happy with the comfort level of these chairs. But I will say, comparing them to these now, like when I didn't have the comparison, I was very happy with these chairs. But now, having the comparison of these chairs, this is, it, it's it's night and day. And I'm I'm not overstating that. They just feel, I mean, there's just more here, more support. And these chairs, again, they're, they were fine. They're, they're okay. But these chairs are just so much nicer. Um, and these chairs, the old ones, they have a pull on them to recline. So you pull a lever and then the recliner will tip up and then you can kind of lean it back. So it's, it's very manual. Uh, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's why I bought them. Uh, but the Tuscany chairs, these are completely uh, electrical. So like the, the recliner, this is nice. This is, this is like super nice. And you'll notice the way they are, like I've got these things backed all the way up against the bar and they still recline fully and they the way they come up over the couch in the front it's incredible and when you're seated like this your head is kind of looking up at the ceiling and that's why they have this cool feature you can raise up your head so now you're fully reclined but your head is lifted up and looking directly at the screen that's really nice. My old chairs, no, no, uh, no headrest uh, movement there. Um, and then on top of that, they also have lumbar support. So you press this button on the remote and now I can feel it activating back here on my lower back to offer full support. And that is really, really nice. I, <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be able to be okay with going back to these chairs because there's so many features on these chairs, the new Tuscanies, that we don't have on, on the old ones. And huh, and it doesn't even stop there. <laughs> they have an uh, um, air massage feature. You can turn on the massage function and it kind of rolls up and down on your, on your lower back and it gives you a massage while you are watching a movie. Now I will say, and this is, I, I'm, I'm okay with it, but just so you're aware, the seats next to you. So if somebody's in this chair and they're using the massage feature, you will feel a slight vibration in the chair next to you. So you won't be getting a massage, but you will, you'll be aware that the massager is turned on on the seat next to you. So if that's a big deal to you, just be aware of that, of that part. Um, and then 
Okay, yeah. So I just turned off the air massager, and it has a heat function. And this, right now in the summer, is not that big of a deal. But I will tell you, being in a basement down here during the winter, it gets quite chilly. And we have blankets for that reason. But to have a heated seat, I've used the heated function in this just a couple days ago, and it was really, really nice. And I... I think that having the heat is going to be a feature that I'm going to be sad to um, lose if we go back to uh, these chairs uh, that we had before. Um, so that's all the functions of the chair. Now, this is very, very important. I want to highlight this part of, of the um, remote. So I mentioned that there's a lower lumbar support function as well as the massager. And I had to talk to Valencia to get the answer on this because I could not figure out how to get the lumbar function to work. And the way it works is on the remote, you have to turn off this section of the remote. This section controls the air massage, the heat, and the light. And if this is on like that, then the lumbar function doesn't activate so you have to turn it off and then you can use the lumbar support feature so that's a that's a real critical thing um and then yeah as as uh nice theater seats have these do have the led lighting which is kind of a cool touch it's kind of flashy it's kind of fancy um it's got the the uh, led lighting around the cup holders as well as the walnut grain finish on the front and it's got the accent lighting um these lights do not change colors it's either on or off and you can't adjust the color and you can't adjust the intensity it's all just it's all or nothing and again having them compare directly to our old chairs they are uh significantly better <laughs> like they've got um they've got the styling which is this s class diamond stitching on them which is kind of fancy if that's your taste uh for me personally i i probably would prefer the um black stitching but i i can see where for some people this would be a real plus to have this visible stitching because it just adds to the look of the chair um but yeah, that's the main features of the chair, and they are very comfortable, and they feel really solid. They're also extremely heavy. Um, fortunately, they can be transported or moved relatively easy because they arrive in two pieces. And so you have the top here and then the base. And we were able to get both pieces down our stairs with no problem. We were able to get them through the door here without any trouble. They, um, again, they are heavy, but I can't imagine any space that you couldn't fit them into. Now, I want to talk about how these chairs could possibly be integrated into our room. Now, as I mentioned, I would prefer to have three chairs on the back and three chairs on the front. The issue here is the height of the chair. If I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the screen, if I've got like, say, say we took these, we have three of these chairs, obviously one here and then two that we had to move out. Um, if I put these three chairs in the front row and then sat in this chair in the back, would I be able to see over this chair in the front so i've got a tape measure here and i am curious to see if we would be able to do so so this chair the old chair is about 40 a little over 41 inches tall so if i'm at 41 inches would i be able to see over that I think that I think I would. I think that would. Yeah. So if we put 41 inches in front, ooh. But when we recline, what would that look like? Let's see here. 
let's do the recliner function and let's just see what happens okay it, it, it would be <laughs> it would be very very close um, it would be very very close I think we could I think we could see over these chairs and have them be in the front now I will say Valencia makes a seat it's called the Barcelona and it is a low back chair it's a, a low uh, low profile that chair honestly I think would probably be absolutely ideal in this room if I had three of those chairs in the front and and then ideally it'd be three and three three Barcelona's in the front and three Barcelona's in the back but even if we had normal normal size chairs in the back and then the Barcelona's in the front that would look good as well so that may be an option as I mentioned the old chairs are about 41 inches tall and the new chairs I measured them earlier and they're a few inches taller and they come in at 40 four roughly 44 yeah about 44 when they're fully retracted so they're about three inches taller than than the old chairs now the the riser this is including the carpet total the riser is about nine and a half inches so that you know you you have to take into consideration in your own room if you've got um a riser how tall is that compared to uh, you know the height of your seating in the front and then adding on top of the of the riser would be the the total height of your of your chairs um, so yeah it, it all depends on your own room and depends on on what your situation is um, but for us I mean this gives us some options so uh, we're gonna have to do some experimentation and just see uh, what what might work now we only have two of the tuscany executive chairs um so i don't know maybe maybe if we just had for now if we set those two kind of centered them here on the riser and then moved this down to the floor took the couch out and had three of these in the front two in the back so now we're down to five chairs um we could try that for a little while see how that goes um but yeah just kind of looking to experiment around and and see how it goes. So thanks for watching.